For you who are new to me, I'm Latoya McBean Pompey, immigration lawyer in New York. The issue is actually an issue that touches those who are here in the United States who are going through an adjustment of status process. So if you're here in the U.S. and um, and you're going through this process or your family is going through this process to get a green card here in the U.S., this actually may impact you. So pay very close attention. Share this video with your feed. For those who might be watching on Facebook, forward this video on. Guys, forward this on WhatsApp as well um, and just share this with as many people as possible because uh, you need to know what's going on internally behind the scenes at USCIS, what they're working on and what they're not working on, most importantly. Okay, so share this with other people. Now let's get straight into the content. So um, the administration, when I say the administration, I'm talking about Department of Homeland Security, I'm talking about USCIS, I'm talking about the Trump administration, right? The administration, uh, there's some things going on behind the scenes with the administration that um, suggests that they are actually holding on to people's green card applications and my client's green card applications. Um, and so let me show you, I'm going to share my screen with you like what I normally do. And so guys, um, let me do this. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is the article that prompted me to do this live session, okay? This is coming out of Roll Call, Roll Call. So Roll Call says uh, administration puts hold on green card requests from U.S., okay? Pandemic-related reduction in staff led to the temporary halt, USCIS says. So what is, what is this about, guys? Again, this focus is on those who have applied for a green card or going through the green card application process here in the United States. And I'm going to read aspects of this article and kind of um, kind of break this down for you here. But basically what this article is saying is that uh, the Trump administration, okay, has halted processing requests from green card applicants already living in the country, okay? And then it goes on to say the USCIS told its employees this week that a general hold on permanent residency applications filed from immigrants within the United States would remain in place. So USCIS friends shared, uh, instructed its staff that they're going to put a general hold on permanent residency applications. Um, but there's a list of exemptions, okay? A list of exemptions, meaning these, uh, these are people whose applications should not be placed on hold, according to this article. Now, uh, Roll Call says here specifically that they've seen these internal communications by USCIS. And then you, you guys are going to also see what USCIS has to say in response to this. So there's a lot of credibility here uh, with respect to um, this article. And if you don't know Roll Call, Roll Call is um, a, a journal, right, um, that primarily reports out on news that's happening on Capitol Hill, okay? But it also touches on other types of news that um, are national in scope. So Roll Call been around forever, very credible um, paper. So Roll Call says that the exemptions, who does this not apply to? It, it includes applications uh, for people who are medical providers and what uh, USCIS considers emergent or sensitive matters. Okay, so it further says, guys, that, um, and let me scroll down here a little bit. It further says that the USCIS, USCIS said the hold on processing green card applications from current U.S. residents comes from or stems from the temporary suspension. Guys, you remember this one? The temporary suspension of, um, the temporary suspension, I should say, of in-person services during the COVID-19 pandemic. Let me say this in another way. USCIS is saying the reason why they instructed their staff to put hold on green card applications is because certain services had to be suspended, right? Certain services had to be suspended during this COVID-19 
pandemic. Specifically, we're talking about interviews. We know that interviews have been, um, there's been a halt on interviews, right? Fingerprints, biometric services, also a halt on those services. So USCIS is saying, duh, logically, you know, obviously we're going to put a hold, right, because of these coronavirus um services that we've had to, you know, suspend for a period of time. And then USCIS is also saying that their priority these days is getting the naturalization ceremonies going, right? Um, so that's their priority. Here's what the agency then says, okay? So I'm moving this up so that you guys can see it. They say, we're con this is a statement from USCIS, we're conducting emergent adjustment of status interviews and cases related to fighting COVID-19 and will begin to resume other in-person services in the future, the agency said, okay, in a statement. So no specifics, guys, no specifics. And I know you need specifics. You need to know when interviews are gonna start. You know that under this administration, there has been a push anyway, right? Since day one, for the past almost four years, since Trump has been in the in office, uh, a, a push to suspend immigration, to restrict immigration, to force people out of the country, to, 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 to um, prevent more people from coming in. So this whole COVID-19 pandemic, guys, is a classic, classic reason to, um, to keep things on lockdown with immigration, okay? So um, we don't have any dates on when these interviews are going to resume. Now, the article goes on to say that, um, and by the way, for those of you who are saying maybe watching and thinking that I'm trying to scare you. That's not what this is about. I'm giving you insight into what's happening behind the scenes with the agency. So please don't call my office and yell at my staff on the phone by saying things like that lady is misleading people. She needs to stop. Don't call my office, guys. If you agree with me on that, guys, give me some thumbs up. Haters out there, do not call my office and yell at my staff. I'm giving you guys truthful, good information because you need to know, okay? Don't be afraid of any of this. But, okay, so um, the article goes on to say that on Thursday, okay, so USCIS um, told its employees that the reason that they've placed this hold in place, put this hold in place is because guys get this, get this because of president Trump's executive order from April, which suspended entry. Remember that one? It suspended entry. It's still in effect, actually suspended entry for certain immigrants overseas. So here they had connected that proclamation from April suspending entry into the U.S. Uh, with now locking down or hold uh, uh, placing a hold on green card applications within the United States when in fact they did say they wouldn't do that right? They did say, and the article goes on to say that the proclamation from April had exempted green card applicants already inside the United States. So apparently they, USCIS was nailed on this issue. And then they had to um, post on its internal web, web page, USCIS posted on its internal web page that, um, uh, that is used by headquarters staff to maintain records of guidance. Let me, let me back up because that didn't make sense. The USCIS acknowledged it posted this material on an internal web page, web page used by its headquarters staff to maintain records of guidance and that that posting that they that that announcement that they sent to their staff contained errors it was in had incorrect information and it has since been taken down so they pulled down the instructions that they gave their staff saying to their staff that the reason why you guys need to hold on to these applications is because there was a proclamation that trump issued in april um suspending entry into the united states so anyway that's since been pulled down and um, uh, USCIS says that it's been pulled, it's been removed, blah, blah, blah. And then let's get down to some other juicy things. Other juicy things related to this, friends, is that the union, and you've heard me talk about this before, that um, they're going to, they're threatening, USCIS is threatening to furlough some of their staff 
because they're running out of money and they're seeking a bailout from Congress, right? And so they're seeking this bailout from Congress um, and threatening to lay off their staff. But here's what I didn't know until today, that their union, the union, their um the American Federation of Government Employees Local 1924 Union um, says that 70% of the agency's workforce, guys, is expected to be furloughed if Congress doesn't give them the bailout money and that these furlough notices may go out as early as next week. That's coming from the union Okay, so that's really significant because if they're talking about furloughing that many people, I didn't know until now that it was actually this large a number of people at the agency that they're thinking about furloughing starting next week um, if they don't get the money that they are seeking from Congress. So we were keeping, I'm going to keep an eye on that one because certainly that's going to impact case processing. Um, big time. Um, okay. So then, um, the, what, what else does it say? Um, this was really a good, well-written article. Okay. Then it also talks about the fact that, um, since COVID-19 started, a majority of the staff of the agency's staff has been teleworking anyway. They've been working from home. Um, and, uh, one of them apparently roll call interviewed one of them. And one of them said, listen, I have been assigned a shockingly low amount of applications. So this is someone who's working, um, for the agency saying, Listen, for an agency in fiscal crisis, I have been assigned a shockingly low amount of applications that we can collect fees from. So in any event, guys, this is, uh, let me jump back on the screen here. Um, here I am. This is big. This is big. Um, and this is impacting those of you who are going through the immigration process here in the United States, you know, for months, 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 we've been years, I should say, we've been watching a number of changes and a lot of the changes have been impacting people who are, you know, like in removal or seeking asylum or on the outside of America trying to come in. And then there's public charge, which impacts those here and those abroad as well. But now you really have this, um, this this um, peek inside of the agency to see that and to know that they're targeting people going through adjustment of status inside America. And that's that's really disheartening. Now, I could understand, friends, the argument that things did slow down because of COVID-19. They shut down their application support centers so people couldn't go do their fingerprints and other services. That's understandable. They weren't doing in-person um, interviews. That's understandable too for COVID-19 purposes. But if there is a bigger reason behind the any halt on immigration applications that I have a very big problem with because that's not fair to those of us here who are working so hard to get our clients permanent residency and you and your family um, here trying to get permanent residency and doing it the right way and so there's um, I'm gonna see guys how this unfolds and certainly I will get back in front of you uh, to let you know what the story is but if next week if the this agency begins to furlough issue furlough notices to its, its staff starting next week there's going to be a slowdown okay there's without a doubt there's going to be a slowdown of processing so this sucks. So what can you do? Uh, what can you do? You guys can, you know, contact your, your members of Congress, voice your opinion, certainly let them know how you're thinking and feeling about this issue, how this is impacting you personally, your family, how USCIS, um, you know, processing, um, uh, USCIS is inefficient and the problems that you have, put it out there, certainly. Um, let's hold USCIS to a higher standard. Uh, they need to work faster and improve their services, be more cons consistent across the board. And, um, you know, the shenanigans, I think what really 
influence the agency is a lot of the shenanigans from policy people who are saying, who may be saying, you know, listen, you guys need to slow things down. Let's hold applications. We, they got to stop those kinds of shenanigans because this is the people's lives are really on the line here. And it's totally unfair because we're all you're all trying to do this the right way. Right. Those of you who have applied, you're trying to do this the right way, follow the rules. But then they keep changing it up on people. And so that's not right. So let's um, put pressure on the legislators as they're considering the bailout request. Put some pressure, hold USCIS to a higher standard and let's just stop all the shenanigans and move people's cases forward. All right, that's the statement that I'm going to add at the end here. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Share it with a lot with other people. Stay plugged in. And this is no scare tactic. This is real deal here. What's happening behind the scenes. This is the administration that we are all dealing with. So let's stay in the know, empower each other with knowledge. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one this weekend. I will have, um, um, maybe I'll have something coming out about the stimulus. There's some movement with stimulus checks, uh, which the the white house is very much in favor of another stimulus check. Okay. So I'm going to talk with you guys this weekend about stimulus news, where things are, um, and so join me, uh, I, join me this weekend as I talk about stimulus news. Enjoy the rest of your evening and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to this channel if you guys have not yet subscribed to McBean Immigration uh, TV. Bye. Nice to see you. Bye-bye.